Hey, sugar. It's your girl, Risa. Yes. Hey, y'all. Happy Friday, everybody. No, it's no longer Thursday where I am. It is now Friday. Y'all know I come in the wee hours of the morning, okay? Mm-hmm. So I'm just coming to share with you guys, and um, it's not going to be long, I hope. Uh, I had a week, y'all. Seriously. The week is not over, but I had an experience today that I'll never forget. Put it that way. A humbling experience. Eye-opening. Just a whirlwind of emotions. Do y'all hear me? But guess what? I am so grateful. I thank the Lord because he did some things for me and he's going to continue to do. He's changing some things. He's doing some things working out in my favor. And I'm so grateful. And I bless his name. I tell him thank you. I give him praise, honor, and glory right now in Jesus' name. Yes, I do. For doors closed and doors open. Do you hear me? And the ones that he opened, no man can close. Do y'all hear me? All right. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, hey, sugar, welcome to all my new subscribers. I appreciate y'all so much. I thank y'all for stopping by and just click and play. And, you know, if you decide to subscribe, it's a blessing to me. And I hope y'all enjoy my channel. I am missing an action a lot lately because my children um, have been sick. My husband's not feeling well right now. And so I'm stretched out. So I don't really have a whole lot of time. And I have time now to sit out and record because it's in the morning. Everybody sleeps. And um, I'm not going to let myself get off track. I was off track to where I couldn't. I was sleeping during the day and up at night. I'm getting ready to take my behind the bed. Mm -hmm. I know it's a lot to see on this computer, but it's going to have to wait till tomorrow. Do y'all hear me? Mm -hmm. But I wanted to come and leave y'all with the verse of the day for my U version for the 19th of September, 2014. And the verse is Hebrews 10, verse 35 and 36. It says, cast not away, therefore your boldness which have great recompense of reward. For ye have need of patience, that having done the will of God, ye may receive the promise. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I'm going to change it to another version and read it that way. It says, Do not throw away this confident trust in the Lord, Remember the great reward it brings you. Patience, endurance is what you need now so that you will continue to do God's will. Then you will receive all that he has promised. In Jesus' name, amen. All that he has promised. So my, my devotional hearing is called Hearing from God Each Morning. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, there we go. For September 18th, it says, pray and give thanks. Giving thanks is so important to being able to hear God's voice. Because like praise and worship, it is something God responds to. It's something God loves. It's something that warms his heart. Anytime we give God pleasure like that, our intimacy with him increases. And that makes for a better relationship with him. If we are not thankful for what we have, why should he give us something else to murmur about? On the other hand, when God sees that we genuinely appreciate and are thankful for being for the big thing, big and little things, he is inclined to bless us even more. According to Philippians 4 and 6, everything we ask God for should be preceded and accompanied by thanksgiving. No matter what we pray for, Thanksgiving should always go with it. Uh, a good habit to develop is starting all of our prayers with Thanksgiving. An example of this would be, thank you for all you have done in my life. You are awesome, and I really love and appreciate you. I encourage you to examine your life, to pay attention to your thoughts and your words, and see how much Thanksgiving 
you express. If you want a challenge, just try to get through an entire day without uttering one word of complaint. Develop an attitude of thanksgiving in every situation. In fact, just become outrageously thankful and watch as your intimacy with God increases and as he pours out greater blessings than ever before. God's word for you today is to speak words of thanksgiving, not words of complaint. Complaint. Speak words of thanksgiving and not words of complaint. It's a choice. Y'all hear me mention choices all the time. It's a choice. We can choose to complain. And I took on a challenge, and I've been doing it lately. Thank you, Lord. For example, tonight, my older children have chores that they do. They all have a night where they clean the kitchen, and they'll clean up the front part of the house where they be all the time because I'm normally in the back. So my son is working. So he wasn't home to do his chores. I could complain about it because he could have done it before he left. But no, I am mommy. This is my house. I'm the, well, my husband's the head of the house. And I had a choice to complain about it or just do it. And I chose to just do it. I've been doing it all these years. And um, even when they're not here, I'll still be doing it. So I could choose to complain about it, or I can just do it. If something is on the floor, I can complain about it, or I can pick it up, one or the other. So it's always a choice, one or the other. Complain or do. Daniel 6, verse 10, But when Daniel learned that the law had been signed, he went home and knelt down, as usual, in his upstairs room. With its windows open toward Jerusalem, he prayed three times a day, just as he had always done, giving thanks to his God. Father God, we give you praise, honor, and glory today. We thank you for the doors closed and the ones that you have opened. We thank you for all that you are doing in our lives, the things that you're doing that we cannot see, God. We know that you're working in our favor, and we just thank you. We praise you. We honor you. We love you, Lord. We come to you, we seek you, we need your help. We come and ask for your help. And we ask you to come into our lives to help us to be better than we were yesterday. I thank you for your sacrifice. I thank you for your love, your mercy, and your grace that is new every day. It's available to us. And we come to you with a grateful heart. I thank you for all that you did today. You brought me home safely, Lord. Yes, you did. Yes, you did, and I thank you so much. If it had not been for you, God, I would not have made it. In Jesus' holy and precious name, I pray that everybody under the sound of my voice come to you with praise and thanksgiving and not complaint. Even though you say we can come to you and talk about our problems, but we're going to first start off with praise and thanksgiving, and then we can talk have an intimate conversation, and let you bless us with your word. We thank you, God, for this day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. As we go into this Friday, God, as we lay down, may our minds, bodies, and spirits be renewed. In Jesus' holy and precious name we pray. Amen. 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 In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes. So, that is my devotional for today, you guys. I thank y'all for watching. He'll do it. Yes, he'll do it. He'll do it. Humble yourself. Because, mm. baby, life, if you keep fooling around, life will show enough humble you. Do you hear me? Mm-hmm. It'll humble you. Excuse me, y'all. Y'all know how I do. I'm not going to stay on here. I love y'all. Sleep well. Hug, kiss, hugs, kisses, and many blessings. Extend a hand today, y'all. Somebody needs you.
whether you feel like they do or not. Give till it hurts and watch God give. Mm -hmm. He'll do it. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Bye, Sugis.